So in this video, we're going to go get real geographical 3D data and bring it into our model. Uh, what I recommend that you do before you do this step is research it on Google Maps or another mapping service because sometimes it's not obvious where the model is. For example, mine is Cathedral, Canterbury Cathedral and as you can see here, it's very clearly laid out. And I'm going to go to Twin Motion now and search it. But you, what you're going to notice is in Twin Motion, you're not going to be sure where it is. So under this uh, icon here, we're going to click on Urban. And what you're going to go see is there's going to be this uh, map, just a random place. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little space bar here. I'll just see if I can move this image box here for now. And I'm going to type in, well, I know that start with the name of the city and it's probably going to be good enough. Uh, did I spell that right? Let's go back. Canterbury, England. Okay. So now it just so happens that it actually finds it immediately for me. Okay. You can see, I already looked at Google Maps. I already know this is it. Now you may have to move around and go look for it. Um, I don't know how precise it is. And if this part doesn't work, you can just leave it out. Now, one thing I'm going to say though, is students shouldn't zoom out like this and then press this because that's going to bring in way too much stuff and it'll maybe even crash your computer. So what you should do is zoom to where you basically want to be. So, you know, I see the cathedral here and I just want to get some of the geometry around it and bring it in just because it'll make it like you're really there, which is going to be really cool. And you see, I know this is my model. And how do I know that? Well, because I went and looked on Google Maps and I've, I've, I've double checked it and it looks like it. It's even named. And the problem is in here, it's not well named. In fact, in, for my model, it doesn't even say it. For yours, it might. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to click grab. Now it'll bring it in and it, let me just see here. Can I rotate it here? No, I'll just grab it and rotate it once it's brought in. So I'm going to wait a few minutes. Okay. So it did bring it in, which is great. Uh, you know, one thing you may want to do uh, as well, and I, I didn't mention this is save it because it might like to crash and that's not good. And one thing you want to do is figure out, okay, where is it? So there you go. I don't know if you can see, but what they've done with Twin Motion is a lot of the major sites are all there. If ever it's not, well, then you don't. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate and I'm going to then delete the, 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 because you see they, they made the cathedral in blocks. They already have that all figured out, which is incredible. So you don't want to move your original model. So this is the original. You don't want to move that one. Okay. What you want to do is move this one. So what you do is you select it using five, six, seven key. I think it's the six key. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move my, uh, oops, it's not the ground that I'm looking for. Uh, just give me a second. Oh, that's the wrong one. I want the context. Okay. So I'll click on the context and I'm going to move and you see these towers. I want them over my towers. Okay. And again, if this is too complicated for your student, you could skip this part. But I thought, how cool is that to be able to, uh, you know, have it come in to. And what we're going to eventually do is delete the gray blocks. And I want to place everything pretty much about where and, it, you know, I'll have to adjust here. And it may not be 100% perfect, but we're going to do our best. And so that's pretty close. I might need a little rotation there and we'll do our best with. Okay. So you know what? There it is. I'm dead on. And I noticed there's a courtyard that wasn't in my model. I'm going to just delete it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm not going to stop the video, but I'm going to just show you what I'm going to do is click on these gray blocks and I'm going to delete everything that's a gray block. And what you're going to have to do is obviously go in and because I want to preserve my original model, I could leave that one. You know, it's just to get a sense of if you went to Canterbury, England, all these buildings that are around it would be there. Okay. And one thing that I recommend that you do is let's go to speed three here. 
uh, you know, move in because there's a lot of these blocks that you, you know, you want to make it look as real as possible. And you're deleting all the blocks that are there. It's incredible how hack accurate it is. And, you know, these are the original towers. I'm just going to get rid of them. Just basically hitting the delete key. If you're wondering how am I doing, I highlight it, hit the delete key. And if you make an error, control Z, okay? And take your time and maybe save a lot, you know, every so often. If I go down, what you want to do is you see all our landscape that we did earlier, it's still there. And that's a good thing. So see, the reason why I'm going to go around is because I probably missed a couple. And, you know, just go quickly. Oh, see, these are, these don't look good. Definitely delete that. Because when people are going to walk around, I want them to see the original tower. Or my model tower. I know it's not perfect, but, you know, we're working for free uh, models. And if you look on Sketchfab or some of these other great websites like TurboSquid, for models, you'll find out that a, a good cathedral model can cost a thousand dollars. So the fact that we can get some pretty decent ones for free is pretty impressive. So I would just keep going and get this finished. I'm pretty much done actually. So maybe I want to see that one's too close. So whenever I do my walk around, I won't see it. And now we're not going to replace all these other structures. That would be, well, probably impossible because we can't find them. Uh, and I'll delete that and I'll delete that and I'll delete that. Oops. I deleted something that was the wrong one. Maybe No, well, it's gone. Okay. And this one's gone and This one's gone Am I done? I'm gonna say I'm done. It's not perfect, but it's good enough So what I'm gonna do now is file save so I am ready now for the design phase uh, I will repeat you should have added all ten of your notes uh, in the in the previous phase the research phase this was what was what I suggested and you should have also added a video if you wanted to and this is where you start and double check your ground as you can see uh, no it's still pretty good the ground is where I wanted it there was some grass there that kind of disappeared if if I want to fix that what I can do is go back to the original and just move it up just a little bit, you know, so we can, well, we don't want that because it's starting to, um, I had some nice grass here and it disappeared, but it's not a big deal as long as my notes are still there. And one thing that I do want to do is make sure I have some arrows. Okay. I did put a screen grab of this because this is okay. This is where you tell your friends, number one, you start here and then what you can do is just drag a bunch of arrows in showing them where to go so they don't have to waste you know time wandering around now they can if you want but it's just so much quicker here you go follow the arrows and uh and then just drag another arrow wherever because maybe you want to bring them to see uh something that's kind of cool and i think the arrows you can change the texture let me double check that here uh, yeah, you can change the textures. How do, how would you do that in case you don't know? You just basically go under materials and let's get some nice color or something and let's just drag it on to Well, actually let's click texture and let's see if that allows it um, Just trying to remember how to do it can't remember how to replace the material, but we're just going to leave it like that. So basically, I'm very happy. I brought it in. And if I want to get a bird's eye view now, it's just incredible. I have the actual real city. Uh, and reminder to not go too large because it could be hard on the computer. So you get a sense of what that would really look like, which is really incredible. So um, if you have any questions, let me know.